everyone! Congratulations if you're seeing this video. It means you survived April and it is now May. And if you don't know why I'm saying, oh my gosh, you survived April, you might not be autistic on the internet. Uh, April is Autism Awareness slash Acceptance Month, depending on who you're talking to. And Unfortunately, it's a month where a lot of misconceptions are just constantly brought up over and over again about autism, and a lot of autistic people will just decide not to be on the internet the whole month of April. And I'm not going to get into all of that. The point is, people are tired of all of that, and so this week's video is not going to have anything to do with autism, really. Uh, so this week, I'm going to talk about my experience with having print-on-demand stores. And let me tell you what a print-on-demand store is. There are different merchants. There's Zazzle, Cafe Press, Redbubble, even Amazon has certain print-on-demand things that they do, mostly books, where if you are an artist or a creator, you are able to upload your content to these websites and then they will put print either your designs on t-shirts and various products like I have with Redbubble and Zazzle or like with Amazon, if you write a book, you can have your book printed and published. And with print on demand, it's really great for people who have no budget or space to house products. Uh, so basically how it works is you don't house any of your own products. The, the distributor, like with me, I have Zazzle, has products. They have a set price for their products. And usually it's kind of normal price for the product, you know, without art. And then you as the artist get to, they when you add art to it, you can add a small percentage or margin markup on it. And this is pretty standard for most print-on-demand shops that I've seen. Generally, the margins are very small. So say you buy a t-shirt for $30 or $35, the artist probably is only getting maybe 2 to $7 from that t-shirt sale, depending on the t-shirt and depending on the website. So the products, that's probably the biggest downside is the products for the end user, for the customer, is a little bit more expensive that way. But when you realize you're dealing with a lot of people who are small, quote, mom and pop uh, operations, small companies, or you know, me, I live in an RV and I can't, I'm, I'm, I can't ship and store and sell products and I, I can't buy a bunch of products and keep it around and then it's risky, what if it never sells? Uh, so it allows you to get in as, you know, a small one person operation and still be able to put something out there. And the reason I started doing print on demand is because I went and just ordered some stickers for my own laptop. I just wanted some stickers. I designed a sticker with my logo. I just wanted to cover cover up the Apple logo on my laptop. And so I designed, I just printed out my logo on a plain square and stuck it over it. And I put a picture on Instagram and somebody asked where they could buy one. And it wasn't set up so that it could be sold. And there wasn't really, I wasn't... I didn't want to start ordering a bunch of stickers and keeping a bunch of stickers around and I didn't know if anyone would really want these stickers. So I did some research and I ended up at first with Cafe Press, which I still have a Cafe Press store, but honestly I'm not in love with Cafe Press and I probably intend to close it down. I haven't seen the products recently, but in the past when I originally opened my Cafe Press store, and there's a video about that I think I can link. I kind of didn't, I wasn't impressed with the quality of the products. And it's been a while, so maybe things have changed, but um, I, I Zazzle and Redbubble, 
I have been very impressed with the quality of those products and I really have been impressed for the most part with Zazzle's customer service. The one thing they haven't been able to give me an answer on, they just decided I think to not get back to me, is what clothing they have is sensory friendly. But other than that, they have anytime anyone's had a problem, they just they have been really good about refunding it and helping the customer with the return and helping the customer you know get what they want or making sure the customer's happy. So that's what's really important to me is that they treat people who are buying my designs well. And so Zazzle I know for a fact does that, so I like them. And Redbubble has been really good as well. So I, I'm just pleased with that. So I'll probably continue to work with them just based on the customer service and product quality. Um, yeah, so basically I just designed my art and Illustrator and then I upload it. And Zazzle even has like a tool that has text and font. Zazzle's really easy. If you don't even have Illustrator or anything on your computer, because <clears throat> I've had it on my computer for a while already, it's old software. If you don't have any of that, Zazzle, you can just, you can do text shirts without any, anything out of the box. It's really great. So check it out because it, it doesn't cost anything for you to have the store. You know, they, they make their money on their products and it's, you just get whatever's extra on top of that. And then Zazzle, you get paid, I think, once the 15th of every month is when they pay people if you have at least $50 you've made in your account. So if you don't make $50 one month, you may not get paid for a while from Zazzle. That happens to me. Sometimes I don't, you know, it's every month where nobody will buy anything or you won't, you won't even make $50. That's okay. But then you don't get paid that month if you don't meet the minimum. Redbubble, they pay you instantly. It, do, it doesn't matter straight into your bank if, or PayPal. I think PayPal. I don't know about PayPal. But they pay me straight into my bank and it's like, you know, even if it's like 50 cents. It's right away. As soon as it's clear, they pay me. So that's nice about Redbubble. But Zazzle has just been more popular. People like Zazzle, so. Mm -hmm. Give the people what they like! I don't know. <laughs> not necessarily. Not always. <laughs> Anyway, um, those are just my thoughts and my experience with having a print-on-demand store. Eventually, if I do write a book someday, I want to, I will probably self-publish and print-on-demand through Amazon. And I will share about how that goes, too, because I've already done a lot of the research already. And I think it looks really good. So, more to come. Alright, guys. Talk to you next week. <laughs>